<clears throat> okay, Taurus, you guys are next for full moon and Libra reads. Libra, I still cannot say that word today. So let's get into your energy. <sighs> Nostalgic. Five of Cups energy. Great creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and protection and for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Taurus for this, their full moon and Libra read. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, one off the top, one off the bottom. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, one off the bottom. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Um, every time I get this card, it's like it's nothing is yet set in stone is based on decisions. We each have a decision to make. This could even be someone else's decision. So let's go to the Moonology Manifestations. All right, one more shuffle. Two off the top, one off the bottom. You guys could be feeling this full moon already in like changing up your routine. Full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. Full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Listen to your guides, listen to your intuition. Go off the beaten path. New moon in Virgo, trust all will be well. I still keep getting that verse. Um, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, um, plans for good and not evil, uh, to give you hope and an expected end. Expected end is promise. Which is interesting because and it's so cool. Um, Pandora's box at the bottom of it was hope, but that's it's also a promise. So Taurus, two of Pentacles, Hangman, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Harpent, Ace of Wands. Empress, there's the nostalgic energy, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Four of Wands. Oh, good grief. Okay, listen, Two of Pentacles. You know what's coming, you do. Mentioning promise means you've already received a promise from the universe, from the great creator of what's happening. But you keep going back and forth on it you do you keep going back and forth is it going to happen is it not going to happen and it's like it's making you stuck it could even be I just keep getting like it's two ways of thinking i'm good i'm not good i'm good i'm not good when the universe is trying to tell you in order to get unstuck you're gonna have to look at it differently. This card, it's like, you know how you draw a line and then you turn? It's like this card makes up the corner. They want you to plant new seeds and watch your victory. Like really plant new seeds in yourself, in your life. Take inspired action forward, push forward through this. Because your applause is coming, your victory is coming, and your commitment. Like here, our Hierophant is a commitment to yourself. Your new beginning is there. This is, and that's, that's the thing too, Empress energy is about really mothering yourself, but this could be a mother figure too. Um, stuck in the past over this nostalgic energy. Like it's mothering yourself, learning how to love yourself. Knight of Cups wanting to rush in with love offer and bring stability, bringing promise. You know this is coming. 
someone's coming in that's been thinking long and hard about you and you've been in your head and really going over the past about something that didn't work out maybe a decision you made to go elsewhere that was where the decision is nothing is yet set in stone you may have made a decision left them out in the cold this could have been choosing someone else I feel like they're coming back in or you're wanting to get in contact with them and tell them that you've always felt this way about them and instead of being in your head about it going back and forth do it make the commitment to yourself to at least say you know be able to know that you put this effort in with this really take time to wonder yourself give yourself a new beginning this is where your change is going to happen internally and going through and saying this is what's best decision for me not somebody else so for the collective sign of taurus this year full moon in libra read love and light 